girls and boys i have for you 40 very very important multiple choice questions from the short story friends written by satyajit ray let us solve them one by one come on question one how old was jointo when he had last visited bundi five years six years four years seven years 31 years ago i was six then therefore the right answer is six years question two what was the main difficulty in planning a trip to Rajasthan together for Jointo and the narrator? The narrator is Shankar. Both of them being able to get away together were too busy to fix a schedule. Both of them had different temperaments, unable to come to an agreement related to the tourist spot. The first option is the right answer. The main difficulty lay in both of us being able to get away together. Echoes page 12. Read the text and you will get all the answers. Question 3. Where did Jointo insist on going for the trip to Rajasthan? Udaipur, Chitor, Bundi or Jaipur? The right answer, very simple, it's Bundi. Jointo kept talking about going to Bundi. Next, question 4. Why did the narrator have no objection for going to Bundi? The trip would be quite affordable. He would be able to see the fort of Bundi. He would love to accompany Jointo. He has previously visited Udaipur, Chittor and Jaipur. The right answer is, I had no objection for having read Tagore's poem, The Fort of Bundi. I was certainly familiar with the name of the place and felt a pleasurable excitement at the prospect of actually seeing the fort. Therefore, the right answer is he would be able to actually see the fort of Bundi. Next, where did the narrator work? In the archaeological department, in a school, in a college, in the editorial division of a newspaper. He now worked in the editorial division of a newspaper. So we come to know by reading the text that Jointo worked in the editorial division of a newspaper. And who worked in the archaeological department? Jointo's father Animesh Das Gupta had worked in the archaeological department. And I taught in a school. The narrator Shankar taught in a school. Question 6. Why was Bundi perfect? Although many people did not come there for its historical significance, for its location, for its beauty, for its rich heritage. The right answer is, but simply as a beautiful place, Bundi was perfect. Therefore, the right answer is the third option. 7. Why did Jointo insist on going to Bundi? It was his mother's ancestral village. Jointo always longed to return to Bundi to see how much the modern Bundi compared to the image he had in his mind. He had previously visited Bundi when he was a little boy. He was just six years old and therefore he longed to return to Bundi. Let's read the other options as well. He loved the picturesque, scenic beauty of Bundi or it was his father's ancestral village. The right answer, second option, he longed to return to Bundi to see how much Bundi had changed. Next, 8. The veranda of the circuit house faced east, west, north or south. The veranda faced the east. Next, which flowers were in full bloom in the huge garden right opposite the east facing veranda? Lily, rose, marigold or daffodil? Right opposite it was a huge garden with a large number of roses in full bloom. Second option, what were the only reminders of modern times? Railway tracks, telephone lines, drainage system or electric poles. The fourth option, the only reminders of modern times were the electric poles. 
What was the reaction of Jayanto as he reached Bundi? He was exhausted and wanted to sleep. He was crying. He was rather quiet, a little depressed and emotional or he was happy. What was the reaction? I noticed Jointo had rather turned, uh, turned rather quiet after arriving in Bundi. Perhaps some of his memories had returned. The third option is the most appropriate answer. What did everyone know about Jointo? Jointo was an honest man. Jointo was whimsical, impulsive. Jointo was absent-minded or Jointo was emotional. Jointo was certainly more emotional than most people. Everyone knew that. Fourth option is the right answer. To what are the chairs compared to by Jointo as he fondly remembers the past? Chairs compared to train, bus, throne or cot? The right answer is throne. The chairs compared to throne. Next, but why did you suddenly think of a tree? What tree is mentioned here? Pine, banyan, mango or deodar? Deodar is the right answer. What was the name of the cook working at the circuit house in those days? Animesh Dasgupta, Dilawar, Shankar or Joginder? Dilawar is the right answer. Who had brought the doll for Jointo? His mother, his father, his brother, his uncle. One of his uncles had brought the doll for Jointo from Switzerland. From where was the doll brought? Switzerland, Britain, China, America. The first option, Switzerland. What is not true about the doll? The doll was an 11 inch long figure. The doll was not mechanized. The doll was very lifelike. The doll's face had a smile on it. Now read the question thoroughly. What is not true? So according to the text, the doll was a 12 inch long figure of an old man. 11 inch long figure is incorrect information. Therefore, this is our right answer here. 19. What did Jointo do with Fritz? He did not like the doll. He kept the doll in the cupboard. He began to spend hours playing with the doll or he tore the doll to pieces. He began to spend hours playing with the doll. I wanted, uh, my parents gave me practically everything I wanted, perhaps because I was their only child. But once I had Fritz, I forgot all my other toys. I played only with him, with Fritz. How was Fritz destroyed? Stray dogs damaged the doll by having a nice tug of war with him. A monkey snatched the doll away from Jointo. Jointo spilled hot tea on the face of the doll or Fritz was stolen. The right answer is a couple of stray dogs damaged the doll by having a nice tug of war with him. 21. How did Jointo arrange a funeral for Fritz? He burnt the doll. He threw a ball in the river. He tore the doll apart or he buried the doll under the deodar tree. The fourth option. Very easy. This is the right answer. 22. At what time did Jointo and Shankar go to bed? At 11, at around 10, at midnight or at around 9? The right answer is at around 10. What was Jointo's condition as Shankar woke uh, up from his deep sleep? What was Jointo's condition as Shankar woke up from his deep sleep? Jointo was unconscious. Jointo was still sound asleep. Jointo was filled with anxiety or Jointo was dead. Third option, Jointo was filled with anxiety and it was easy to see the look of anxiety on his face. What woke Jointo up the second time? Something walked over his chest, something struck him, he had a nightmare, someone called him. Well, something walked over his chest. What woke Jointo up the first time? He woke up twice. 
what woke Jointo up the first time? The humidity of the place. The bed was uncomfortable. He heard a shuffling noise near the window or something walked over his chest. He heard a shuffling noise near the window. This is the second time I have woken up actually. The first time I had heard a shuffling noise near the window. Page 17 echoes. 26. What was Jointo staring hard at the cover of his quilt? Tiny brown circular marks on it. Dirty bed linen, red spots or a doll. Again, the first option, tiny brown circular marks on it. If Jointo was emotional and anxious, Shankar, the narrator, was happy and carefree, skeptical and logical, lazy and foolish, selfish and cunning. The right answer is skeptical and logical. Two contrasting characters, two friends, two different personalities. Jointo, emotional and anxious. Shankar, skeptical and logical. What made Shankar feel that Jointo had forgotten all about the doll? Jointo's youthful exuberance, Jointo's absent-mindedness, Jointo's sleeplessness or Jointo's childhood memories made him feel so. The right answer is Jointo's youthful exuberance. What worried Shankar when Shankar and Jointo were sitting in the back of the car? Odd restlessness of Jointo, anxiety of Jointo, sickness of Jointo or sleeplessness of Jointo? The right answer is there was in him some kind of a veiled excitement and he soon realized, Shankar soon realized that Jointo had an odd restlessness and this worried him. How could I talk sensibly to someone whose mind was obsessed with such an absurd idea? What was the absurd idea? Bundi was unchanged even after so many years. There was a shuffling noise near the window. Jointo was hallucinating due to the tranquilizers or Fritz had come into their room and the footprints were his. These are the words of Jointo. Fritz came into our room last night. Those little marks on my quilt were his footprints. So this is the absurd idea. How old was Jointo when he revisited Bundi? For the second time, 30, 37, 40, 25. The first time he was 6 years. He returned. He came to this place again after 31 years. Therefore, the right answer is 37. Shankar wanted to give a nerve tonic or some such thing to Jointo. Why did he want to do so? Shankar was worried about Jointo's health. Shankar was worried about Jointo's mental peace. Shankar wanted Jointo to sleep or Shankar wanted to divert Jointo's mind? The right answer is Shankar was worried about Jointo's mental peace. Definitely his health was getting affected. He was not sleeping well. But the most appropriate re uh, reason is he wanted to calm Jointo down because he was worried about his mental peace. Peace, mental health. If this continued, he would soon get mad. When did Jointo come to Bundi last? 31 years ago, 30 years ago, 33 years ago or 32 years ago? The right answer is 31 years ago. What was perhaps the only way to bring Jointo back to normalcy? To show Jointo that Fritz was buried and only a few things of his remain? to take him to a doctor, to give him a nerve tonic, to go back to their homes away from Bundi. The right answer is to show Jointo that Fritz was buried and only a few things of his remained. Next, why was it imperative to bring Jointo back to normalcy? Why was it necessary? To rid himself of his weird notions, to stop him from sleeping into lunacy. The word lunacy means madness. To convince him about the existence of the doll or first two options. Here, first two options. Both to rid himself of his weird notions and to stop him. 
from slipping into lunacy. If this kind of thing was allowed to continue, he might go totally mad. What did Jointo have for lunch? Rice and vegetable curry, biscuits, sandwich and eggs, chapati and meat curry. The fourth option is the right answer. He was not eating much. He was disturbed. Yet he had chapati with meat curry. What was the reaction of Shankar as he looked at the hole in the ground? His eyes were bulging. His finger was trembling. He gaped at the ground, open-mouthed in horror, amazement and disbelief or he was not scared and was laughing. The third option, he gaped at the ground, open-mouthed in horror, amazed and disbelief. His eyes were bulging. Whose eyes? Jointo's eyes. Whose finger was trem uh, trembling? Jointo's finger was trembling. And the gardener was scared as well. The spade slipped from his hand. Why did everyone look at the hole in the ground with terror? There was the corpse of a cat buried. There was a 12 inch long, pure, white, perfect little human skeleton. There were blood stains all over the place or there was a jacket buried in the spot. The right answer is the second option. There was a 12 inch long, pure, white, perfect little human skeleton. 39 now. Which is the predominant theme of the story Fritz? Magic, good versus evil, supernaturalism, romance. Supernaturalism, paranormal. So, the last one, last but not the least. How much money did Shankar offer to give to the narrator for digging the ground? 10 rupees, 4 rupees, 5 rupees, 6 rupees. The right answer is 5 rupees.